Hey everyone, it's me, QP83. I am back from Blogger Bash. This video is just going to be like a quick video recap of uh, what I did at Blogger Bash and what I saw, some of the cool toys that were on display. Um, there's going to be another video where I just talk about what I did in New York, and then finally there will be another video where um, I'm, a, I'm opening the big, sweet, sweet box of samples that they uh, ship to attendees houses so this is one of three videos and then of course you'll see some of those things in in videos too for reviews so this video is all about the actual blogger bash so blogger bash was held july 12th and 13th in new york city new york um it was held in like the chelsea area or like midtown manhattan and chelsea area um essentially what blogger bash is is it's a conference that's comprised this year, it was comprised of a breakfast and three different expos. So the breakfast was put on by Armatron, they're a watch company, and it just had a bunch of influential women who work within social media um, or have blogs, they, they freelance in the digital realm or they work for larger companies in the digital realm, specifically with influencers. So that was a pretty interesting breakfast. That was like the kickoff to Blogger Bash. And then Baby Palooza followed. Baby Palooza was an expo that was uh, filled with a bunch of different exhibitors who sell baby products. They had uh, baby food, uh, healthy organic options to feed your child. Uh, they had uh, baby wraps. If you're someone that likes to wear, wear your baby, uh, they had a bunch of different people that did that. They have paint uh, and Getty's and Gens and Gettys, she has a new line of paint coming out that's supposed to be safe colors to paint baby nurseries in, uh, colors that, you know, kind of reflect the mood you want your child to be in. So it was an interesting little uh, expo, and I took some pictures, which uh, I will show you, and they're all up on Flickr if you want to see some of them. Um, so the Baby Palooza was fun. Only about 25 to 30 vendors, so it was a very quick expo, unless you were trying to have really in-depth conversations with the people who were, uh, you know, exhibiting. Uh, and obviously my blog is on a totally different topic, so uh, I did not need to have those in-depth conversations, and uh, it would turn out to be a pretty quick expo. The big expo was Sweet Sweet. Sweet Sweet probably had about 60? or so different vendors. Um, I didn't count. It was much smaller than Toy Fair, obviously, but there was a nice selection of toys on display at Sweet Sweet. Um, so here are a few different highlights. So we'll start with Jack Specific. Jack Specific had a trio of superhero dolls on display. They had three uh, DC toddler dolls, and I thought they were adorable. They were Wonder Woman, Fat Girl and Super Girl. They're about the same size as the Disney princesses that Jack Specific made, um, but I thought they had really adorable faces. Uh, Wicked Cool Toys had a bunch of neat stuff on display. Of course, they brought some Cabbage Patches, uh, and they also brought Little Sprouts, which are miniature Cabbage Patches. What's nice is that they come with little play sets, so they have like um, Babyland General as one of the play sets, which is super cute. They're collectible, there's 120 that you can get. And of course, they play on the whole blind bag uh, theme that is prevalent in pretty much all the toy stores right now. They also had on display what I was super excited to see uh, with Teddy Ruxpin. So Teddy Ruxpin came out years ago by World of Wonder. Uh, it lasted for a few years, was super popular, and then, you know, World of Wonder went out of business and the license kind of jumped from toy company to toy company to toy company. So now Wicked Cool Toys has Teddy Ruxpin, and what they're doing that I really like is that Teddy Ruxpin is, they're using like the old tapes. So Teddy Ruxpin's voice is the same, the tapes are the same. What they pretty much changed was how Teddy works. So no longer do you need a cassette tape, uh, you know, inside your Teddy Ruxpin. You don't need a cassette tape to, to put anywhere. Uh, it's all digital now, so he is preloaded with some stories, and then you can get more uh, sold separately on the app. And the app is like, kind of like the storybook. So instead of getting a paper book, you can just follow along with the app. The teddy itself was super cute. He's a little smaller than like the Worlds of Wonder Teddy, but the teddy was, was cute. And hopefully you'll see more of him on my channel. So the My Siblings and My Pals dolls, 
Uh, is an independent company. The creator was super passionate about the line. What they are are 18 inch boy dolls. They have uh, rooted hair, not wigged, and they came in a variety of different styles. Uh, so if there's a good chance that you'll see one that you think is pretty. So the thing with this line is the creator, um, she's an educator and she also raised an autistic son. So she's very passionate about, you know, serving those with disabilities. The thing with them is that they're, they put an importance on social issues and uh, people with disabilities. So the My Pals line, no, the My Siblings line comes with a story that is told from the perspective of a child that has a disabled sibling, which is a perspective that you don't always read about uh, or get to know. And these dolls were put on the market to uh, educate people and to you know, kind of be a, a friend to those that may be in a similar situation. What's really nice about these dolls is that uh, they work with a sheltered workshop that has uh, members who are disabled, uh, and they offer work to adults with dis disabilities to dress the dolls, to pet, to put the packaging together, to fold the booklets that are in the book, to pretty much like prep the doll to be shipped to you. Um, and they do it based on skill level. So if they, the adults need training, say they need to learn the, the job, even if it's something simple like, like folding the books and doing that, they will train these individuals and give them a job because as you probably know, it's, it's hard if you're different to find fulfilling work. And so the My Pals and My Siblings company, uh, they, they do that where they try to do that with their line. The Real Cooking Princess Cupcakes, I thought were really cute. They help you make a princess cake. I'm always like, I don't cook a lot, but I always end up watching those cooking shows of those people making amazing cakes or amazing bakery goods, and I'm like, I wish I could do that. Uh, so these are sets where you can make a little miniature princess cake, and it comes with all the ingredients and the molds, and it's just super cool. So also Cupcake Surprise was on display. They have two different sizes of Cupcake Surprise. You may remember these from like the 90s or the late 80s, one of those. Um, and you've probably seen them in stores because I know those are out already. Just Play was also on display. They had three really cool Descendants dolls. So Descendants 2, I think comes out later this month or next month, one of those things. Uh, and it's a Disney Channel original movie based on Descendants, which was out two years ago now? Something like that. And uh, Descendants is essentially a story about fairy, the children of fairy tale villains and heroes and that sort of thing. And of course it's like high school drama, all that fun stuff. It's like high school musical but with fairy tale characters. Um, but they had three dolls on display that definitely caught my eye and a bunch of yours if I uh, am going to trust Instagram. So they are 27, 28 inch fashion dolls. So they're huge, first off. Uh, and they're of Mal, Evie, and the new girl Uma, uh, who I think is Ursula's daughter. And they're just really cool. They have articulated arms, so their shoulder and their elbow and their wrist have uh, joints. And I'm not sure about their hip. I would assume they'd have a hip joint, but I didn't ask about that. The one thing they are missing is a knee joint, which unfortunately, there's nothing you can do about that now. But uh, they are really, really cool dolls. I really like their faces. I think their faces were just perfectly done. So then there's Our Generation, um, and Our Generation had on display their first ever boy doll, which I thought was really interesting, and he looks pretty good. Um, and they also had on display a new line called Glitter Girls, which is a new size for them. It's kind of like yay big. I didn't love their faces, to be honest, but their clothing I thought might be a good fit for other doll lines, so I'm interested in seeing what clothing options are available for them. So when I go to Blogger Mesh again, I'm not quite sure. It was a fun event, but there was also very little to do. I feel like most of the time I spent in New York, I should have been participating in Blogger Bash events, but there weren't any to participate in, so I was just wandering around New York City. Um, I think that if they were to add some more panels or some more stuff to the actual Blogger Bash, I would be more enticed to attend, but as it stands, Blogger Bash is essentially, like I said, a breakfast and three expo. One of the expos, they don't even run, so it's kind of like, kind of attached to Blogger Bash, but they don't run it. 
Uh, so it's not, like I don't even think I would consider it part of Blogger Bash. Uh, really pretty much Blogger Bash is Sweet Sweet, which is a one four hour event, uh, which is an amazing event, super well organized, tasty food, but it is just still one event. Uh, I would have loved some breakouts, some little meetups, some sort of like panel about something. Uh, it just would have been great to have more to do during the actual Blogger Bash. If you live in New York or in the surrounding, the surrounding states, it's an amazing event. You should totally do it. If you are not from New York or the surrounding states and you have to pay for multiple planes to get you there and you have to, to pay for like the hotel nights and stuff like that, I don't know if it's worth it. I ended up putting a lot into it, but I don't know if I got everything I wanted to out of it, if that makes sense. If you live in the surrounding area, you should totally go. It was practically free, which is amazing. So like I said, if you're in New York, you should do this. Uh, if you're not in New York, you know, Google it, see if you feel it's for you, because I'm still unsure. I'm still on the fence on if I got everything I wanted to out of it. But that's it. That was Blogger Bash um, and some of the highlights from the Sweet Sweet. You'll be seeing, like I said, more on the channel. So until then, let me know what your favorite stuff is that was featured in this video, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!